Hello, I'm going to show you how to build a yurt in Google SketchUp. Um, as you can see from this yurt here uh, that I made, uh, the structure can be built in Google SketchUp. Um, it's actually a really, really great tool to use because all the measurements are intact and for engineers, if you actually decide to build this in real life, uh, it's really easy to just take the wood to the shop and 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 cut it up with the with the measurements given by Google SketchUp. Um, and uh, but if you can see here on this image of the structure of the yurt, you have the full 360 degree circle uh, design. Um, but this full 360 degree the circumference takes up uh, a couple elements. You have the the net stitching wall, and then you have the yurt door. So the, the there are two elements here. Uh, we need to find the width of the door and subtract it from the circumference of the rest of the circle. Um, because we don't want to do the walls for the full 360 degree yurt, we just want to do what's outside of the door. Um, and in order to do that, we need to determine the arc angle of the door uh, in context to the center of the, the center angle of the yurt. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. It just takes really simple math to do. Um, so I'll show you that right now. Uh, we all know that the circle is 360 degrees. We know what the what a diameter and a radius is. And so we just need to find out this outer circle part. Um, and this outer circle part depends on the radius of the yurt itself. And uh, it also depends on the door width. So the door width, I'm just using a one meter wide door that I found at the dump. Um, and with this one meter wide door, there's an angle to it. And so we need to find out what that angle is and subtract it from the 360 degrees. And that will be our wall working area. And like I said, this depends on the radius. Uh, I'm using the 2.5 uh, meter year. The reason why is because uh, in some countries you don't need uh, permission to build the structure if it's five meter diameter or less. Uh, but for the sake of this exercise and simplicity, we want to do whole numbers, so I'll just do a three meter radius uh, yurt. And, uh, and so the circumference of the circle is two pi r, so you just plug in the r, which is three meters, uh, and we need to find out what that angle is, that, that x angle, uh, and that x angle is that one meter door, right? That one meter door here. And here's the formula. You want to cross multiply this. You're basically drawing a butterfly here. Um, and then uh, you, uh, yeah, it's cute, huh? Okay, so then you just divide by three and then you divide by two pi and you get the angle, which is uh, actually 19 degrees, but we'll round off to 20 just for the sake of simplicity. Uh, okay, so we have 20 degree, uh, we have a 20 degree door angle, and we want to subtract that by the 360 degree your structure, and so that equals 340 degrees. So we have 340 degrees of wall and 20 degrees of door. Um, and as you know, the the your wall is actually made up of uh, like a bunch of V's. And uh, it kind of looks like this. And so we're going to be basically building this in SketchUp. And each V is going to be multiplied by a number, which we determine um, from the number of V's inside the 340 degree part circle. Um, and so. I want to use 17 V's. Uh, I just decided this because it creates an even number of 20 degrees apart. So each center of the V here, each center of the V in geometry terms is going to be 20 degrees apart. 20 degrees apart. And 
that's it. You're done. So you're done with the math part. And let's get started in SketchUp. Come in and draw the foundation uh, using the rectangle tool. I'm using a 6 meter by a 6 meter foundation, so that's the diameter of the yurt. Then I'm trying to find the center of one of the edges, so I find the center of the square with the line tool, and then uh, I gotta put it in the origin of the entire composition, uh, and then use the line tool and use inference to find the center of one of the edges, uh, which I'm going to be using as a guideline for repeating the one of the sticks, um, which are part of the V. Get rid of Susan there. Um, and so using the rectangle tool, I am making a three centimeter by six centimeter long stick and extruding it with the push-pull tool um, about 2.2 meters. So I just type in 2.2 M and it goes up. Uh, and now, so now I gotta rotate it around the, the center point. Um, but I have to do this at an angle, so I am angling one of the sticks at 20 degrees from uh, 20 degrees from the bottom edge, and then repeating this. So I got to use the rotate. So I press Q, originate to the center, and then hold Option hold option as I'm dragging it out and so when I press option I just type in 20 degrees type in 20 and then times 16 because 17 was the was the total and now you just created another one uh, and then you gotta basically do 16 instead of 17 uh, and now I gotta I gotta take that entire group and angle that 40 degrees to the other side which creates my V. And there you have it. That's that's the basic structure of the yurt. Uh, now we gotta repeat this again twice because there are, there are intersections of this net that are required for it to be stable. So I select the whole thing, group it, and do that duplicate tool, right, at 10 degree angle. And I'm just filled in the gap between the two uh, the two V's and I'm doing I do it again I do the repeat but this time at five degrees and so you see that I'm doing that at five and then I have to take one of each of the uh, one of each of the parts of the V that I started with and copy them over to fill in the gaps, because you see there are gaps at the top of the year that still need to be filled. And uh, I'm using all of this with the Q rotate tool, using inference in the center, and pressing option or alt in PC, and just dragging it across and typing in the degrees. So at this point I'm putting 15 to fill in between the 10 and the 20 degree repeat. Uh, and then I'm doing the other side. And by the end of it, you should be done with the, uh, should be done with it. Looks like I made a mistake there, but I correct, I correct it. Using inference, repeat, pressing alt. And this one I locked it at 10 degrees, so I just typed in 10 and it filled it in. And so there you have it. That's the structure of the yurt and a really nice hole, uh, which is a pretty actually actually a pretty cool shape for a door. Um, I would just keep it like that if uh, if I was building this in real life, but that should get the uh, walls taken care of. And you you use the same exact tool for the roof, uh, mind you, um, but that's for another video. For watching and I hope this helped you uh, figure out how to build a year in SketchUp. Uh, keep using SketchUp because it's a great tool. Alright, take care.